Hi, this is my review of In the Dark of Fright. In the Dark of Fright is a horror adventure for the Hackmaster 5th edition role-playing game. This is a, an adventure that works really well with a sandbox type campaigns. That is, you can take this adventure and place it anywhere you want on your map and the player characters are supposed to stumble into the adventure especially if you provide uh, suitable hooks and that way the players will have no one else to blame but themselves when they face the horrors and the dangers in this adventure well let's talk about the quality of the pdf the pdf is pretty good and it comes with um, tools or, or aids that you can use in, in virtual tabletop software such as um, uh, Roll20 or, or maybe you want to, if you play by forum or by post you may use the different uh, tokens and the map within so you can better illustrate your, your adventure that's pretty useful and the PDF itself is very well organized it's easy to understand and well written you can read this adventure in an hour or less and you're going to be completely prepared to run this adventure it also has a lot of, of evocative and, and cool illustrations the maps are somewhat simple but they do the, the job mm. and overall the quality of the PDF is great now let's talk about the contents of the PDF well this horror story has a very simple plot basically a cleric decided to to free uh, an enslaved a group of, slave, of slaves from the Grail that as many of you have master fans out there know the Grail are kind of like um, very savage and very tyrannical elves um, they aren't always bad but um, in a general sense they could be considered a, a bit evil and well this Grail had uh, this uh, group of slaves and the cleric came in with her group and they uh, defeated the, the Grail, they drove them off the land and they rescued all these slaves however um, the cleric had a difficult time deciding what to do with the slaves because uh, the cleric suddenly had under her command a lot of unemployed people and that's a lot of mouths to feed and she couldn't just drop them into a city and so she didn't know exactly what to do however the slaves started creating a sort of like a, like a settlement or village and the cleric thought that was a great idea and the village started uh, to prosper, the, ye the years went by and the slaves had families and it started to become a proper village however they, they made a fatal flaw that they didn't uh, prepare for combat or battle they didn't find a, an effective way to protect their village and so the grill um, uh, went south and, and gathered more forces and became stronger and they went back for revenge they attacked the, the village of the former slaves and they pretty much massacred everyone and the, even the cleric, because the cleric was uh, older and, and weaker and one of the cleric's uh, disciples managed to kill the, the grill's lead, the leader of, of the girl army but uh, that just made things even worse, they attacked the village, they defiled people and, and did all sorts of profane rituals there and so the village ended up being completely cursed and this is the place where your characters are going to, to get into Mm, there are several uh, hooks provided to kind of lure them into the, the village and there are two, um, a, a couple of, of mountain lions that will um, kind of like chase the characters into the village because these mountain lions are supposed to be stronger than the player characters this is an adventure for a group of, of three or, or four level characters and these lions represent sort of like a threat that will keep the characters boxed into the village if they actually decide to, to wander close to it mm, once the characters get into the village they're going to be uh, constantly attacked by uh, a new type of undead called the ghoulings now the ghoulings are kind of like ghoul kids and these undead children are going to uh, employ some sort of like guerrilla tactics against the characters they're going to, to come out of their hiding places and attack them and if they start uh, uh, losing they will uh, retreat back into their holes and, and hiding places now it's important for the game master to portray this um, uh, environment of, of decay and, and desolation uh, almost all of the structures are going to be uh, in a very bad state uh, houses are going to be in ruins mm, 
and uh, there should be like little children drawings everywhere and to add to the creepy factor. They, these are, are supposed to be drawings that the ghoulings uh, did because they're kind of like like children but very evil psychotic children and uh, you're supposed to um, to express that that sense of dread correctly these are um, these undead children are going to be playing all sorts of, of lethal and dangerous pranks upon player characters they're going to be using traps of, of all sorts that uh, with the intent of of killing the player characters but in the process torturing them uh, psychologically there's also going to be a vampire bat and there's also a uh, haunted structure with a ghost uh, or a hunt more specifically and the player characters have to navigate throughout the enti this entire village there are also, uh, uh, there's also a group of zombies and if the characters make it across the village they will end up in a graveyard when they will find, where they will find the only um, undead NPC that could actually help them uh, end this curse so that's basically the the story premise of the adventure mm. now let me tell you what I think about this adventure I think this adventure is pretty cool uh, but you should also take it as a sort of like a horror comedy there are some uh, places in the adventure that things could get a bit funny even if it's dark humor so uh, you have to take it like a sort of horror comedy and uh, there are some pretty creepy moments in the adventure uh, but there's also a potential for uh, da uh, dark humor mm. however I did notice that uh, some groups could actually have an easier time going to this adventure so for example I can think of of three group con or party configurations that would have an easier time if you have a group of only of, of smaller characters such as uh, halflings, gnomes and gnome titans they're going to have an easier time fighting the ghoulings because the ghoulings uh, take advantage of their smaller size they usually attack the characters and, they, and then they retreat going into very small tunnels where the characters can't reach them well the gnomes and the gnome titans specifically just imagine a gnome titan fighter going into those hiding uh, places uh, he's probably going to be able to deliver the killing blow to any ghouling the other group configuration that we actually have an easier uh, time with this adventure is a group of very stealthy and agile characters they are probably going to be able to to climb uh, the different uh, structures and greenhouses and maybe surprise the ghoulings because uh, they use a lot of um, ambush uh, tactics and you could all maybe enter the building from the window uh, um, instead of using the, the door and uh, that's another party that could uh, present, uh, an easy, uh, have an easier time with this adventure the other party configuration is a uh, party with uh, maybe a couple of clerics that are going to keep the ghoulings at bay pretty easily Mm, and if they manage uh, to do that, that is, if, if any of the three party com configurations manage to, to navigate the adventure in, in the way I'm telling you, they're, they're going to cross the, the village uh, quite easily and get to the graveyard and, and figure things out. So this adventure should be played um, as, uh, as some sort of, like, with a, with a very slow pace that should be building up for, for something uh, better, like for a... A spectacular climax if you can manage it and uh, you're supposed to be giving details um, to the characters little by little of what happened in the village maybe they decided to interact with the haunt in, in the church or maybe by gathering clues they start to, to figure out what, what really happened in the village mm. so it's actually a, a, a quite a good adventure but you should have in mind that some groups are going to have an easier time with it uh, well, uh, thanks for watching my review. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. See you later.